David the White Rhino Allen versus Fabrice Orion. Now, Dave Allen was supposed to fight Adam Matchard for the Central Area title, or in Dave Allen's words, likes to call it the Central Area Championship of the World. We've often joked about that in our interviews. But this fight with him now against Fabrice Orion is a step up in class for Dave Allen. Um, relatively unknown to boxing fans around the world. Um, Dave Allen has been, you know, he's made it himself, has been better known for his interviews. He's had more interviews with Bay Lorick than he has had fights. Uh, in his last fight, his last fight was against Vilecki. We saw the last minute or two minutes of that round, him stopping uh, Vilecki, and Vilecki doesn't get stopped often. Uh, Dave Allen in that fight was just basically, wasn't even going through the gears. So he stopped Vilecki with some good punches. This fight against Fabrice Orion is going to be a little different because Orion comes with experience. He's a light replacement. Machard, from what I remember, from what I see, is six foot seven, six, I think six foot six, six foot seven. Uh, uh, orthodox fighter. That's what Alan was preparing for. Instead, he's now fighting an opponent who's, I think, six foot one, six foot one, six foot one and a half. Orthodox fighter current world champion in kickboxing and is in fairly decent shape. So what do we know about this man, Fabrice Orien? He has had wins over Zamano Lung Love, who beat who uh, Joshua beat in two rounds. He also um, fought Duhapas, who recently fought Deontay Wilder. Duhapas got him out of there in four rounds. He also fought Breedis the man who recently knocked out Manuel Shah, um, and he went to points with Breedis. So, take all those things in con into consideration. It's definitely a step up, and definitely a better opponent than uh, Adam Machard. And also, take into consideration as well, it's a guy that's coming on three days' notice, a southpaw, six foot uh, one and a half inches, or six foot two, so there's dimension changes in terms of height, reach, and also as well the southpaw. So anybody who's boxed before knows that southpaw can be pretty tricky. What do we know about Orion's style? Well, he has that typical kickboxing style where he likes to bounce around a lot. He uh, does throw the jab, and the, he's very reliant on his straight right or straight left hand for the southpaw. The straight left hand, very reliant. Like, has a habit of overreaching with the straight right hand, or straight left hand, which would be the southpaw, straight left hand. Um, also, when he jabs, he does use the jab a lot, but he's got a, a bad habit of bringing, not bringing the jab, his jabbing hand back to his chin. He starts off correctly, but as soon as he starts throwing punches, the hands come down, he doesn't protect his chin. Against the southpaw, Alan will have to work his way in behind the left jab but of course the right hand is the key the combination i would be looking to see dave allen throw in this fight against orion will be the right hand and the left hook uh, orion is open to the right hand left hook combination when orion comes forward throwing punches as again he overstretches with the right hand he overcommits with the right hand leaving himself vulnerable and open to left hook right hand combinations also with the jab like i've said my breakdown of this fight, I mean, I haven't seen enough of Dave Allen like to see all he can do. But from what I've seen of him so far, um, I want to see, for me, I want to see him getting down to business straight away. No messing around, no playing around. Straight down to business. He's live on Sky Sports. I think it might take him maybe a few minutes to work out from the Southpaw style. But as soon as he can, find the opening, get in and get this guy out there as soon as possible. I think this is a six-round fight. I think Allen will stop Orion in this fight. I don't think it goes to points. I think Allen stops this guy. Anything between, anything within, I would say three rounds. I think it's a three-round stoppage for me. I think Allen is a, a different class. I think he shows it on the night. And if he does get the stoppage, it's a good win for Dave Allen, considering all the other um, factors, change of opponent, 
you know, three days notice, fight being on, fight being off, fighting for an area title, no longer fighting for an area title. Then the whole thing about is he being shown in Sky, is he not being shown in Sky? You know, all these things, all these factors do play a part in the boxer's mind. Obviously, if you're on Sky, that brings you more exposure. People get to see what you can do. And, um, of course, it's in your mindset. Well, I'm going to be in Sky, baby. I'm not going to be in Sky. Today, Van, he just needs to be stay focused on the job. Um, I said, I think he does stop Orien because I think he's open. And I think Dave Allen is a heavy, handy type of guy. Um, I think he stops him, to be honest. I think Dave Allen will be looking to put a performance out there that everybody, uh, especially himself, would be happy of. So I'm just happy from uh, you know to see Dave Allen out there now getting his breakthrough. I mean, we talked about Dave Allen a year ago and everybody who's um, seen the Dave Allen story and listened to his interviews, we know he's been through some dark moments. So I guess Dave Allen is a testimony to people that if you keep trying, you keep sticking in there, your opportunity will come. Got a good um, manager, Steffi Ball, who knows what he's doing, who's guided you know, Gavin McDonald, for example, from where Gavin McDonald was to a European title. He's done well with him. He's re worked with many different other fighters, plus a, a shout-out as well to his uh, personal trainer or fitness trainer, uh, Jack Sunderland, who has worked on getting David into great shape. David has not been, you know, I think the hardest worker at times, but in this fight, he's got himself into good shape. He's in a good place. And I think that's going to show on the night. So that's my preview to uh, Dave Allen against Fabrice Oriang. It's a good fight. Oriang has been preparing for a kickboxing fight. Let's remember that as well. So in two weeks' time, he's defending his world title as a kickboxer. So I think on three days' notice, it's a good quality opponent. It's better than what was originally planned. And I just hope that Dave Allen can do the best that he can on the night. Get the win and then focus to bigger and better things. If he's talking about fighting the likes of Anthony Joshua in 12 to 18 months' time, I mean, Dave's only had eight fights. This is his ninth fight. Um, you know, you have to be getting rid of guys like Fabrice Oriang. It's nice talking and it's nice having a great personality. Now he has to do the business in the ring. I'm sure Dave Allen's well aware of it. Uh, I'm sure the White Rhino will put on a great performance. And we can look forward to many nights with the right white rhino ahead. Let me know what you guys think about this fight.